guys, Logan Clements here, freelance event producer, and today I'm so excited to bring you guys another installment of my favorite tips and tricks about event planning and running your own business. Today we're going to talk about some of my favorite event planning tools. Now, I have two ways that I wanted to do this. One, I wanted to tell you about my physical event planning tools that I use, and the other, I wanted to use talk about the digital tools that I use when I'm doing my event planning process. I decided I think I'm going to break them up into two different ones because a lot of the in-person tools are very relevant to in-person events, which at the time of this recording, we are not really doing here in Seattle and Washington State. So I think first, most importantly, I'm going to tackle my favorite digital tools that I use that help me save time, help my clients save money, and just overall have a much smoother event planning process. Now, before I get started, I do want to remind you guys to click the, the button below to subscribe. Please turn on the bell so that you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. Feel free also to like, dislike if you don't like this content because I'm always looking to hear what you guys have to say. And comment below, tell me what tools do you use? If I recorded this video a couple years ago, the tools I probably told you to use then would be different than they are now. So I, I do realize that this whole process is constantly evolving. Um, so I want to hear from you. Let me know what is keeping you guys efficient and having fun in the event planning process. So my first tool that I use the most, both internally and with my clients, is Google Drive. And I love Google Drive because it is this living, breathing folder that you can have documents, you can have spreadsheets, you can have forms, and they are all editable and shareable, and there's only one version of them. This is my most favorite part about it. And so with Google Drive, you can create meeting notes that everybody could edit at the same time during the meeting. You can create shared spreadsheets that have everything from your task list to your inventory to your event rundown to your script. You can have folders so you can have all the design collateral all in one space. I have loved Google Drive one because it is so shareable and editable because very rarely do I create events where it's just me and I have all the documents I need that I made. Very often I'm working with a client or I'm working as a part of a team and I just need, or whatever it was, but I needed more than one person to have access to the information at the same time. And I wanted to make sure it was consistent. Another reason I love Google Drive is because it's consistent is because I've done work in China where Google is actually blocked. You can access it with a VPN, but I've had some projects where some of the people that I'm working on the team, like myself, I have a VPN so I can get into Google, but some of my other event staff do not. And so we need to work with just Excel sheets and Word documents. And I worked a tennis tournament in China where I had, I'm not gonna kid you, I'm pretty sure I had almost a hundred different versions by the end of this two week event. And it was so frustrating to have to be double and triple checking that whatever document my, my colleague had edited and sent to me was the most up-to-date one before I edited it and sent it back to them. I made it clear that what I was editing was the most up-to-date one and it just round and round and round, oh my gosh. So anyway, Google Drive and a Google Docs, it just takes a lot of that stress away. And so I can't emphasize more that if you are working to plan an event with more than one person, with a client, with other event people, even with vendors, editable, shareable Google Docs are awesome. Another pro tip, you can always change the settings per user in Google Drive. So for example, if you wanted a client to be able to view the work you were doing, but not actually be able to come in and change anything, you could give them, you can give them either viewing options, they can only look, or you can give them a commenting option so they can actually comment, tag some specific element, comment on it, but they've not changed the actual original file. The other beauty of this is you can always go back to previous versions. So say someone got in and did a bunch of things to the document that they shouldn't have, or it was confusing, or you're not sure how they got there. Google automatically saves different versions of your documents. So you can go back in history to say, oh, I wanna see what this document looked like yesterday. Trust me, this has saved me a lot on a different, lot of different projects and it gives you that flexibility to cater to your specific client or your specific event needs and it's just awesome. I do love Google Drive and say that I use it both for client work and as well as my own internal work because it's so easy and just in the cloud. So there's days when I've gone on vacation and I've only taken my iPad with me instead of my computer and I can still edit all my files. I don't need to like lug a hard drive with me or something. So highly, highly, highly recommend Google Drive. My second tip would be Toggle. So this is a tool that I use to help track my time. I do have an article that I wrote below a couple years ago about how tracking my time changed the way that I work. And I will link to that. And at the time when I wrote that article, I was tracking every all my time in Google Drive. I did have a client introduce me to Toggle a couple years ago and phew, mind blown. Very similar to the system that I had about tracking my time 
in Google Drive. And when I say that, I track my time based on project. And so I will break down both what I do for clients and what I do internally. And I split it up as like admin, marketing, business development, and I also have personal development in there. And I track my time because at my old agency that I worked, we tracked our time there. And I found it was really helpful to just kind of see where your day went. I'm not saying that you're disconnected and you might not know what's going on, but sometimes you can feel like you worked a whole day and then you're like, where'd that time go? Well, your timesheet can tell you. And so this is what in Toggle, it's awesome because you can either set it up to do it in live time. So you hit like a play button. You just write, here's what I'm working on. Here's the project it's associated, start. And then you can hit stop when it's over. But you can also go back and just input start and end times. And so I go through different phases. Some days I love going to Toggle and using that as my like transition thing to hit play, record it, stop, done with that time. And other times I'm just in a work groove and so I'm just making some loose notes about what time I started, what time I ended, roughly an hour here, roughly an hour there. But what I found is by tracking your time, it helped me personally as an event planner because I got to see where my time was going and I'm always interested in being more efficient. But the best part about tracking my time was it held me accountable to myself when it came to what I was charging clients. Some of my projects I've worked, it was based on an, an estimate of my hours and by tracking it, I was actually kind of like double checking myself to go, oh wow, so I estimated 20 hours, it actually took me 40. But because I estimated 20 and locked it in with the client, I only got paid for 20 even though I did 40. And so it, it has helped as a guide for me to adjust both my pricing and it's improved my estimates when I come to come across a new project. Toggle is amazing. It's really good for internal teams. If you are someone who bills by the hour, I highly encourage you to use Toggle because you can export program export reports super quick. So you can just say, oh, this project, this is what we did last month, export, it's in a nice little PDF. It can export by team members so you can see what person did what. It can just export all together. Anyway, I love Toggle. And so I do think you should definitely think about signing up. It is free. I guess I should have made a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. I'm not getting paid by any of these people to recommend these, these products. These are definitely products that I actually use day to day. And so can't recommend Toggle high enough. They have a free version. That's the one I'm using. If you have a more complex or robust team, you definitely need to use the paid version. But if it's just you, one person, or just a few people, I found the free version works just great. And my third digital tool that I am using nowadays is Airtable. Now Airtable is very versatile and very similar to Google Drive, except it seems to be a little bit more intuitive. So the beauty of Airtable is that it's like Google Docs and Excel Sheets, but everything is linked. Now not links like it's going to a website, but you can link tasks or things on another sheet to something on that sheet. So what the beauty is, is you can have everything organized by event area. So by event area, I mean it could be registration, cocktail hour, ballroom portion, dinner, decor, and you can list all these things out. And then you can have another sheet that has it by task. And you're just listing every single little thing you have to do. And it'll actually link it to that first sheet and link it by area. And then you can do all these different filters, which are super cool. And you can filter it by person that it's responsible for, by the deadline of when it's due. It's definitely for people who love to be a little bit more organized and have things that just automatically are linked together. If you're someone who's a little bit, now I, in my head, I think of Google Drive a little bit more as old school. I love it because it's a lot easier to introduce non-event people to. Airtable is awesome for the event professional who just wants everything to be linked. I will say I did work on a project recently where it was, it did change my view a little bit more, where I love Airtable even more. There are just some nuances and a little bit of a learning curve for teaching yourself how to link things efficiently. But once you do it, if you change the timing of one thing, it'll change it for all of them. If you edit a task, it automatically will update it to that area or notify that person. And so it just kind of puts a little bit of that project management tool into a Google Drive shareable like element. So that's Airtable. I will also mention that was also free, the version that I'm using. But if again, all of these apps kind of have to a certain scale, they're free. And then if you either need more people to have access to it, more users, more data, whatever it is, that's when they start to have you probably pay like a monthly fee. And my fourth and final favorite tool that I use when it comes to event planning is Canva. Canva is this amazing online browser program that allows you to create beautiful shareable designs in seconds. I don't know if that's what it says on their website, but that's what I thought of when I think of Canva. 
Anyway, I've used this as my big tool for creating social media marketing. A lot of it is what I use for my personal company, but I have realized that there are so many clients out there for events who might have the budget to have a really big fancy designer and just need super small edits. Canva is your go-to. Canva, you can upload an old graphic and you can paste things on top of it or you can create something from scratch. It's really cool because you can use your brand guidelines, you can use your specific colors for your branding, you can use your specific fonts. I was using the paid, the pre, free version for a really long time. I now have switched over to the paid version purely because it allows me to save my colors and fonts and so I have essentially a brand deck that anytime I open a new template, it automatically puts my colors and my fonts in and it's amazing and saves me time. But they give you ideas if you're, not a if you're not a design person, who I would say myself is probably not a design person. I think I know what looks good, but I do not think if you gave me a white screen and said, make something, I could make it. It gives you a lot of things to, to, to choose from. And then you can kind of like Frankenstein what looks good for you. I've used it for clients for creating save the date cards for them. I've used it for creating posters, for promotional materials to send to sponsors. I've used it for people's websites. It's really, really versatile. And if you just want to use the free version, it's pretty awesome. That's Canva. I highly encourage it if you're looking for something for your design needs. It's been my go-to. It still is my go-to. I love it. Hopefully you enjoyed learning about my top four digital tools that I use in my event planning process. I will say every project's a little bit different, so sometimes I introduce different tools at different times. But these are my four go-tos. I use Google Drive for almost everything because it can share all my documents, it saves all my documents in one place, and they're all live and edible and it's awesome. I also love working with Toggle, which helps me track my time. It's both good for internally, so I stay on top of where my time goes, but I also can share with clients how much time I'm spending on things. If it's some, that's a part of our scope, I need to report my time. I love Airtable. It's definitely a little bit more intense on the event side and the, the tech side of understanding how to link things. So similar to Google Drive, very shareable but a little bit more event focused. But once you get the hang of it, man, when I meet people who know Airtable in and out, they love it. So I'm working on my knowledge of Airtable, but it's pretty awesome from what I've done so far. And my last one, Canva for your design needs. Anytime you wanna make social media images, event key images, save the dates, website headers, really whatever you can imagine. I honestly looked the other day, you can make a book cover on Canva, pretty cool. All of these are awesome, all of them are free. I, the only one I'm paying for right now would be Canva. I'm paying just to have a little extra um, access to their different branding and some of the more images and things like that. But anyway, they're all free. You could use them right now. I will link below to all of these sites that I talked about. I'll link also to my article that I talked about earlier about how tracking my time changed the way I work. I promise I'm gonna do a video on it because I need to update because I've changed a little bit of it, but the core reason of why I track my time has not changed. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something new. Maybe you have a new tool that you can add to your event toolkit put it in my toolkit thing. That's what I was doing right there. Anyway, I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and this has been another installment of my videos about my favorite event tips and tricks and running my business. It's been great talking with you guys again. I hope you have a great day. Before we go, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell so you know every Monday when I drop new videos. Like, dislike, comment below. That's all I got, guys. This was really fun. I'll talk to you guys again next Monday. Bye.